Hello, everybody. Today on Mover Ruins Movies, we're going to talk about the movie Devotion. Devotion is a movie based on a true story, the life of Ensign Jesse Brown and Lieutenant J.G. Tom Hudner, and their story flying F-4U Corsairs in the Korean War, doing strike missions and close air support at the beginning of the conflict. And in this movie, we go from the day uh, Hudner shows up at a squadron, meets Jesse Brown, all the way to the eventual downing of Jesse Brown's aircraft. And as far as ruining the movie, there's really not a lot. Cinematically, I think it's better than Top Gun Maverick. The aviation scenes are much better. It's not as obvious. They're now granted, they're CGI, but not a lot. There's a lot of practical shots, just like Top Gun Maverick, but I think the shots are better done. The F4 looks better on camera. The shots aren't ridiculous. It, it's To me, it's like comparing Ford versus Ferrari and a Fast and Furious movie. It's like Top Gun Maverick. They try to do as much stuff over the top and this WWE style, oh, ooh, ah, you know, let's make it as ridiculous as possible. This was a movie based on a true story. And if you're not familiar with the story, I highly recommend you pick up Adam Makos's book about it. Uh, it basically, the gist of the story is Jesse Brown is the first African-American naval aviator. He struggles, it goes through his struggles. Uh, through the squadron and going to combat. And then uh, he gets small arms fire and he ends up crash landing uh, near a mountain and he can't get out. He's actually trapped in the aircraft. So Tom Hudner, uh, fearing the worst, crash lands his own aircraft so they can be with him, tries to free him with the help of a helicopter pilot that shows up. And unfortunately, they're unsuccessful. And so eventually they have to evacuate because the helicopter can't fly there at night. And that's how he died. It's a very good movie. It drags on a little bit. You know, I, I think it's a very long runtime and I think it, it's not as action packed. It's a thinking man's movie. You know, it's not a movie where it's just popcorn thriller, action, 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 cheesy dialogue and stuff. It's really a movie about a time period in American history and different perspectives from Tom Hudner's perspective, from uh, Jesse Brown's perspective and his family. And the flying part is really good. I mean, it, for the, the time period, the aviation scenes are really well done. They use real aircraft, which is cool to be able to get that many aircraft. So at the beginning of the movie, transition to the F-4 and they say, hey, you know, here's the manual, read it, which I laughed about, you know, because of DCS and stuff. And then They've warned them about, you know, the power, reduced visibility over the nose and some of the handling characteristics of the aircraft, but really well done. There was obvious stuff that was CGI, but the practical effects and the practical shots were really, really, really good. And that's the part I enjoyed the most was the, the flying scenes and uh, kind of how they did it. I think the production team did a really good job. And whereas Top Gun Maverick tried to augment real stuff with CGI or try to make real shots look better with CGI, to me it made it look worse. This, they just kind of went with the raw stuff and did a much better job of showing kind of some of the aerial stuff. And it's interesting, Glenn Powell, I think his role in Top Gun Maverick as Hangman kind of prepared him for this one and, and it really made it look good. There, there's a part he gets shot at or an oil problem. They're kind of slow to do the bull face. They go through the checklist and all that stuff. But eventually they do go through the checklist and it's realistic. You know, your, your wingman would read the checklist to you and help you out. Although in this case, I think it might have been bull face, critical action procedure stuff that you do from memory rather than having somebody read it to you. Uh, although they would read it to you as a backup, but just not immediately. But uh, that is pretty much it. It's kind of a sad movie but uh, definitely is, is realistic and something that is highly enjoyable. Like I said, you know, if we're, we're talking car movies, it's the Ford versus Ferrari versus Fast and Furious. You know, it is, it is a much deeper movie. And I, I think had it come out, had Top Gun Maverick come out in 2019 like it was supposed to, and then this come out in 2022, 
I think it would have done a little bit better with a little bit of distance from Top Gun Maverick versus, you know, being right on the heels and everybody saying Top Gun Maverick's the best movie ever, which Top Gun Maverick was a good movie. It's just, it's not this good. It's a little bit more of a popcorn thriller that you kind of just turned your brain off for versus uh, this, which is actually a little bit deep. But anyway, that's it. Not really ruining the movie. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the movie. Go see it if you haven't. It took me a while to see it, but I'm glad I did. So, And every fighter pilot that I've talked to uh, loved the movie. They thought it was a really good movie. So, I mean, I think we appreciate the history more than we appreciate modern, you know, fantasy. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm.